So as a kid growing up, I used to hear of this revolutionary lure called the banjo minnow. This was supposedly the best lure you could get hands down, and this thing just was to flat out the best thing ever. So I picked some up, and uh, I'm going to be doing a review of these to see if they really are what they are stacked up to be. There's a lot of hype surrounding this lure. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below, or in the cards up there, to a TV commercial about this thing. It's very interesting to watch. But right now I'm just going to do kind of an unboxing and an overview. I bought this off Amazon for like 14 bucks. The full review is going to come later. Uh, can't do it right now because all the lakes are still frozen. But uh, let's unbox this, uh, see what comes in the kit, and uh, take a closer look at this. Let's do it. Alright, so this is $14 off Amazon, and I'm just kind of looking at the, the total packaging here. It says 110 piece set, which really for $14 uh, is not a bad not a bad deal. 110 pieces for 14 bucks. Really good. I don't know if the price has dropped over the years uh, when this first came out. I'm not sure. But uh, very interesting. It says, makes the fish bite even when they're not hungry. Okay. The world's first genetic fishing response lure. I guarantee you'll catch more fish with the banjo minnow. The most like life lure ever created. So, a lot of... Uh, interesting things in here. Let's go ahead and open this up. See what, what these lures look like and what we kind of get with the whole set here. Okay. Alright. Cheap brittle plastic. That's what I noticed first. Okay, we got some baits here. We set these over here for now. Man, this is a weird package, I must admit. Okay. Got some literature or something. Instructions. A lot of these were individually packaged, but the rest of the 100 piece set comes all balled up like this. Um, not very good packaging, especially for baits. This is going to bend you know, the appendages and not make them as good as they were uh, originally packaged. So that's just a first thing. Another thing I'm noticing about this bait is that the plastic is not as um, limber as I thought it was. I thought this would be really soft, squishy plastic. It's actually fairly stiff, which is interesting. Okay, let's take a closer look at what we got here. Alright, so guys, here is the banjo minnow on a close-up shot. As you can see, it's got a relatively thin design. It's got two ribs down here by the tail, um, and it's got a major rib right here by the head. We have a pair of eyes and a little almost looks like a lion tie right at the nose. So that's what the bait looks like. Um, interesting design. I've never really seen anything quite like this. Um, it is very interesting and unique. Uh, so there's that. Uh, I'm going to show you guys some of the colors I got with the kit. Um, first off, I got this color, which is what you've been seeing. This is a standard silver and blue. I also got a chartreuse, a translucent silver right here, a pearl with red eyes. This actually looks kind of cool, this color. I like this. We've got a translucent with some heavy fleck and a blue top. And again, the red eyes. We've got another one here. This one kind of has a spotted black color and just a standard white finish. And this last one right here is some purple with green fleck. So each color comes in three sizes. We have a 5 inch, a 4 inch, and a 3 inch. So what else comes in the box? We have three different sizes of hooks here, each to accommodate a different size bait. And we also have another pair of hooks. These, I am told, are for wacky rigging the bait. You also get some little rubber bands you can use to make the hooks weedless. So how do you rig this thing up? So there's a little loop in the front of the bait and you just put your hook through it like so. Uh, and that's basically how you rig this bait up. So there you go guys, there is an unboxing and an overview of the Banjo Minnow. Stay tuned for my full review where I test this thing out and find out if it's really all that it's cracked up to be. Thanks for watching this episode. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe for the review. So, I'll see you guys then. Bye. So there you go guys, there is a... F there so there you go guys, there is a quick overview and unboxing of the Banjo Minnow.